Come in. What's up, Chief? Oh, what's going on, man? Not much, man. How you doing? Pretty good. Oh, okay. Get Hey, how's it going, Albert? Hey, pretty good. You're for your performance evaluation? Okay. All right. Even introductions are very important. As you can see, our manager, Lucas, dealt with Will poorly. He could have handled that situation much better. Now, as far as Albert went, that was perfect. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm Brian Parrish, and today we're going to talk about performance evaluations. A very serious thing in our industry today. Please enjoy. Let's start off with your performance evaluation. I'm going to tell you your rank. You're at the bottom, the absolute okay. bottom. Start in front of bottom. There's nobody under you. And I mean, you got a, you got a few options though. There's things you can, you know, tr try to work. Start in front of bottom now. My towards. I mean, you could grab a by a rope, maybe. You know, learn how to tie nooses, go to the store, get a gun, some bullets, and you got options, man. So hi, Albert. After going over your uh, rankings for our performance evaluation, you're actually in our top 10%. Oh, doing really? an excellent job. Nice. Yeah, so we'd like to extend an offer to you uh, some stock options. That you remember the class where I taught you all how to make it rain? That's what I'm going to be doing every single night. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Could hopefully benefit you. Ranking is something that some companies have to do when they're doing performance evaluations of their employees. One of the things you never want to do is tell an employee to go hang himself or give him options for suicide. It's one way to get yourself shot. However, our manager Lucas handled our good employee Albert perfectly told him what kind of rankings he was getting, and even offered him stock options to help motivate him to keep him to stay. Did they meet your goals this time? Yeah, absolutely. Your, uh, your first objective was to increase sales by at least 13%, which you certainly did at the 14.7 right. that we had discussed. And your second goal was to be 80-20 billable, and you more than did that. You're about 85% from your clients and about 15% from the company, which is ideal for us and the organization as a whole because we can go towards profitability and go towards our growth rate that we desire. Oh, all right, nice. Uh, did you have some goals for me to meet? Yeah, we, uh, we set some very low goals that, in hopes that you'd be able to obtain them. I mean, can't really do anything right, but so let's go over them. So the first one is to stay sober. Clearly, clearly failed. Second goal was to uh, show up on time. What time did you get here today? 12.45. Okay, the workday starts at 9. 9. That's, that's 9 a.m. Things do happen before noon. Uh. Management by objectives. It's great to have objectives and goals for your employees so that they, they know where to go. Now, as you saw in our scenario with Albert, he had sustainable and measurable goals that were easily calculable and we were capable of giving him great feedback on those goals. Now with our bad employee, Will, they were terrible. They were not worth having goals at that point. Why is Will even an employee? All right, Albert, just wanted to have you in here today so we can go over some of the things you've been doing really well. Okay. So first off, in the meetings, you show up to every meeting and you're, you're on time and you really actively participate in the discussion. And then furthermore, your division, you were able to boost the sales last quarter by 14.7%. I really wow. think that's just something you need to commend, commend yourself for. Wow. Thank you. All right, Will, I need to give you uh, some feedback here. I want to tell you, you know, a few specific things that you can work on. I want, to, I want to keep it straightforward. That way you know exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it. So everything that you're doing poorly, do better. Just, just stop being bad. And the, the, very, the very few things that you're doing well, keep doing them. It's as simple as that. I mean, how, with instructions like that, how can you not succeed here? I'm giving you direction, I'm offering you advice, and it's very specific. Hello again. Feedback is very important. What we saw in our scenario 
was Lucas giving the most vague feedback to our bad employee, Will. It was not helpful at all. Why'd you even do that, Lucas? We'll never know. Now, however, what he did for our good employee, Albert, was positive and constructive. All right, Will, so we need to go over your 360 degree feedback. We went around the office and we, we checked with everybody and get some feedback on you know how you have performed. It's all negative. I'm not going to sugarcoat it here. Uh, some few death threats and really nothing good came from this. Um, just to pick something out, Albert, uh, he says that you need to shower more. He works on a lower floor, so I'm not really sure how, uh, how he would know that. But thumbing through all this here, we have uh, Ryan, who just said you're a piece of shit. All right, Albert, so let's go over your 360-degree uh, evaluation. Okay. Um, we had many good things coming from all of our employees. Janice in HR said that you always say hello to her, and, and she really appreciates that. Uh, we had Doug down in accounting and said that you helped him out with a few of his uh, TPS reports, working on the cover sheet, I assume. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, just overall, good feedback across the office. I mean, from me, I feel like you've done a great job. You've improved in this company. Sometimes 360 reviews are an extremely helpful tool to figure out what your employees think of each other and what your customers think of your employees. But under no circumstance should you ever tell somebody what another employee said about the other. I feel safe in my work environment. Hey, Will. Hey, uh, Ryan, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Heard you were talking.